Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a couple more mods to install on the Ducati. Now when I first bought a Ducati, being a single-sided swing arm, I thought, well, how are you going to put axle sliders on the back? Because if it goes in the hole, what are you going to do to lift the bike then? So if you have a traditional slider, like this one from EvoTech, this was courtesy of uh, Ducati Austin, then it just simply fits in the hole like any other slider and you're good to go. But to use a rear stand on it, then you have to remove the slider to be able to get it in. So Sato Racing came up with an ingenious idea to make a slider with a, you, this basically uses an A4, 8 pin instead of a uh, V4, which are really big. So if you have the luxury of having a pit bull stand, then you can buy a new pin for your stand. And once this is inside your axle, the A4, 8 pin will go inside and then you can use it to lift the bike. And if you don't have a single sided swing arm stand for a Ducati and you have a normal stand, the Sato Racing is also set up to take a traditional rear lift stand. Uh, so that's, that's nice. So we'll go check out the bike, see what we're gonna need to put this on. It's a very quick, very simple. Anybody can do this. And be sure, if you guys like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up like and subscribe it really helps the, the channel grow and i do appreciate it so let's go check the bike out okay so <clears throat> looking at the rear axle on the bike you can see that if you had the typical evotech slider like this that when you put it through basically it is going to block any access you have they're putting a, a rear stand on this. The slider works great, but you just have to take it on and off if you want to use the slider or the rear stand. So, as I said, Sato Racing came up with an idea to just leave the hole, to sleeve it, I guess you could basically say, and uh, as anything else it slides in on this side so you actually have more of a slider and it also has the slots for a regular rear stand if you didn't have the single-sided stand you could use so once this is in what you would do is obviously remove the pin from your pit bull stand and you have to buy a replacement. This one is uh, the D pin. And then it will slide in just like your other one did. Go ahead and put your washer back on it. Put your ring on to lock it in. So then when you go to lift the bike, it will lift on that. So what we're going to do now is move this out of the way. We're going to go ahead and install the slider. And then we'll see how it works. So once you get everything in, obviously we already have our pin installed. Then we can go ahead and take your stand. Like I said, this is a 
848 pin size on this. It gives you a way to have a rear slider on these without having to take it on and off whenever you want to use a rear stand. So there it was, that's a five minute, 10 minute install at best. Um, just remember, if you do have the standard sliders, they're great, work great. You just can't use the rear stand. You just have to remove them, put them on, take them off, which, you know, it's kind of inconvenient, but it still works. Obviously, having these on, you have to pull out your pit bull pin, which this one is a 1098 for the, the bike, and buy the D pin to work with these. And it works great. I mean, I think they look good, they're functional, and uh, you know, they, they go on a single sided stand and a regular stand, they'll work on both. I haven't tried the regular stand on them, so I'm not sure how they work on that, but it seems like it would be pretty straightforward on that as well. So guys, I hope this helps you out. Once again, if you do enjoy the videos, please make sure, give a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Keep looking for new content. Please leave comments down below if you have any. Always remember, anybody can work on their own stuff. You don't have to pay a mechanic to do it for you. It just takes a little bit of time, patience, and uh, understanding and knowing what you're doing before you get started. This was definitely simple. I mean other things, a little harder things. Uh, so don't be afraid to work on your own bike. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.